downtown Seattle on the corner of Fifth Avenue and something. Where am I? Rotate device. How about that? Is that better? Yeah, they will be back in three months, won't they? So I just watched a bunch of guys kind of in a little side cubby hole here, just shooting up a bunch of drugs. And one guy got annoyed and I'm going to show you the guy right now. And then we're going to go take a look at the sweep because most of the sweep is kind of already, already been worked on. All right, we're going to walk down. There is our fine friends over here. Got some nut jobs down here. Got cops. How to walk away from a nut job. Turn it around the corner. All right, here we go. So the guy that was following me was shooting up on the sidewalk on the corner and he didn't like me doing my thing. So here is Westlake Park. It's this kind of corner over here. And you can see Department of Transportation. And you can see all the crew. They got here before me and just cleaned clock. So you got some people getting services down there. They're going to get a ride somewhere. Yeah, that was a little frightening. But... You just keep walking and we're on a public street and there's cops all around. So, there's that. Okay, so I'm going to walk kind of past where the last of the remnants of the sweep are. You can see a dump truck over there. I'll walk past that. The tents were all over in through here. go kind of through the middle here. And they've already loaded up in there. There's the cops. Welcome to Westlake Park where we have to do sweeps. Security. I'm not really supposed to be in here, but that's what we're going to do. So the deal is, is that new mayor, Bruce Harrell, he's made a commitment to sweeping out some of these parks. And it looks like he's doing it. All right. So I'm gonna go back around and walk down the street. left.
just people in there getting a coffee, business as usual. People shooting up drugs right there. Security guard right there telling the people right there not to shoot drugs. Guy chasing me around who's just, just shot up. That's good times down here in downtown Seattle. Crazy. All right, so let's go back here. There was a bunch of tents all throughout this corner, this block, and they've come through and just wiped out. Okay, so I'm gonna go someplace a tiny bit safer here. So we can talk for a second. Big Macy's store. Yeah, how'd you like to be all these businesses here? Trying to operate. Abercrombie and Fitch, come on in. While people are shooting drugs across the street. That's got to be a selling point, right? Van store. Okay, so see if you can see that over my shoulder. That's kind of what's left of the sweep. So they're coming down really hard. They're bringing police in and they are just cleaning house. There was another sweep that happened yesterday that was just kind of billed. Sketchy dude there. It was kind of billed as a surprise sweep, but I've talked about it in podcasts. It was a sweep that started on February 22nd and the uh, mutual aid spent like nine days joining arms and basically stopping the sweep and now the mayor's getting serious and he's bringing out the cops and there's decent police presence here and uh that's how that seems like they're handling it they're just kind of cleaning clock and, and doing stuff so we are about a block away from the area on third avenue that i've talked about a ton i'm going to walk down to there sketchy people everywhere here all right so i'm gonna go and there's pep sketchy people that are checking me out so i'm gonna keep walking So we are walking towards the McDonald's that I showed video clips of. People just doing a bunch of shooting up and they cleaned this section out uh, last week sometime, I think. It was one of the big clean outs. Transit security. And this is the McDonald's and they've got somebody, they've got a six person police crew supposed to be down here we'll see what's going on so this was literally littered with people selling drugs selling crazy stuff this was the corner right here where people were just stacked up all right so we're going to take a walk down here and just see what's going on All right, hey, McDonald's is open. McDonald's was closed down, but they've got their kind of order window open. Interesting. They shut down due to the safety of their customers and employees. 
Okay. I like what I see. And that is in between buses here. This is a bus only street, Third Avenue. Okay. So there's the Seattle Mobile Police Precinct unit. There's supposed to be six cops here at all times. We'll go check that out. Closed stores. So you can see them. A lot of these are just shut down stores. Now that one's got heavy security. We've got graffiti removal going on. Good. And there's the mobile unit over there. So yeah, they've got at least six cops. Good. I feel a scooch safer. Not safe, but just a tiny bit safer. I was I did not feel safe where the homeless encampment suite was going on. What's left of it? Here's Chipotle. And I'm gonna go up and around the cops. Chipotle. You see a bunch of boarded up stores over there. Right here. And here. And here. That's the Euro stop. Yeah. All right, so I'm going west. I'll tell you what. I'm going to go say to our, our friends in the blue. They'll be there when we get back. We're going to take a walk. Yeah, this is sketchy. God, this is horrible. We're going to walk down to Pike Place Market. All right, so I am one block to the west of Pike Place Market. And this is what we're looking at. One block east of Pike Place Market. And this is what we're looking at. walking out in the street. You can see Pub Pike Place Market in the background there. All right, security, cops, good. Man, they are stacked up there. Good for them, outside the cool store. Whatever that was. I'm just gonna walk around, show you guys what downtown looks like. That is a presence over there. You got cleaners, downtown ambassador, you got security crew. Ooh, angry. Back when I first started the live stream, if if there wasn't a platoon of cops down here, I would have had a tough time with that one guy who had just shot up. That wouldn't have been good. And they do not care. Uh oh, we've got angry yelling. Shocking. Target. Yep. I kind of take this for granted because I live here and I try not to come here, but I know people do this.
Bear King. Got a band. Band's gonna play. Okay. All right, so here's Pike Place Public Market. Right here. We'll go down and see if they're slinging the fish. Okay. And then we'll go back and see if we can see any good stuff. Let me get kind of set up here. Yeah, we'll go down here and go back there. Kind of our little storefronts and restaurants. The original Starbucks is down there. And here is your fish market. Here's your fish guys. Okay, I know you guys don't care about the fish guys, so we're gonna head back. And let's see what's going on here with the ambulance. This is a pretty common occurrence. And there's the pig. Pigs are important. You know what? Oh, uh oh, here it is. I was looking around for what the incident is. So, this is the stairwell down to the Wall of Gum, Seattle's famous Wall of Gum. This is a good look right here, don't you think? No, these are just people waiting for something. We'll go look at the wall of gum. It does get a little wicky whack down here. This is all gum people have put up on the walls. Both sides. And this area down here at night is super, super sketch. And the wall, gum just continues down into here, all the way back up. All right. 
Let's kind of wind our way back up. You can see what that ambulance was doing. You can find those guys. They didn't seem to be in a huge hurry. There's a pretty cool view outlook right here. Why wouldn't I get this guy on a live stream? There's Puget Sound. Big shipping and all the piers are down here. The, uh, yeah, the big huge Ferris wheel right there. That's where all the waterfront is. So all of all of the tourists come off of the boats here and then walk uphill this direction and the homeless of the street I started on, the homeless kind of owned that street since the beginning of the pandemic. So now you've got all the boats going. Oh, hey, on YouTube. Check them out, Rick McWolf. Okay, good marketing. So now what we're seeing is we're seeing the city clean out the streets because of, of the homeless and they're trying to clean up the drugs and the craziness associated with all that stuff, the selling of the stolen goods. And, because you can see how many tourists are here. These are all tourists. So most of these people are just wildly oblivious to the stuff that goes on here. If you're reasonable, you know what goes on here. So it's that kind of that dual standard thing of, isn't Seattle great? Doesn't Seattle suck? You know? Sure. All right, so I'm gonna cross back over I lost interest in what Medic One was doing. This has always been kind of a rough little area. You got a strip club right there. And, uh, used to have a strip club right there. It's Showbox now. Music venue. kind of walk wherever we want here. It's Seattle. Are they going to arrest us? No. Plus this is... It's got a lot of tours right now. You've either got private security here, or you've got cops. 
And we don't have enough cops in Seattle. So you've got a massive concentration here and other areas of the city. Not so much. See, there's tourists and probably some homeless that I just showed you that probably just got kicked out of Westlake Park and they're moving. <laughs> 